Okay, I get a call from my dad at around a quarter to nine. We closed at nine. And he goes, Brian, he says, I think I killed somebody. I said, what? He says, yeah. This guy came in the store and I saw him. He had a test tube around his neck with a chain holding it in place. And he slipped the net down from his arm, long sleeve shirt. And he caught one of the black arowanas out and he put it in the test tube. And then he went out the door, he said he didn't need anything. And I chased him down the street and I grabbed him by the hair, his hippie hair, he said. Oh, and flung him into the gutter and kicked him and kicked him and kicked him. And he was between a parked car and the curb. And there was blood everywhere and he didn't get up. Went, oh shit, dad, don't, don't, don't do anything. Don't call anybody, I'll be there in 10 minutes. We lived in Westchester. So I hauled ass down there, I came, I parked out back and I went down there, and the guy wasn't there, but there was blood everywhere. A lot oh of blood. God. So I, we got our hose. We had about a 100-foot hose, and we hosed down. I poured some soap and water on it, and we hosed it down, and we brushed it and hosed it down because it was n like 9.30 now. No one was around. And it's illegal to beat someone up for just stealing. Assault yeah. and battery, yeah. Yeah, Grandpa could have went to and jail. So huh. I said, Dad, don't ever tell anybody. I don't know where the guy went, but he got up, and he was probably too, too uh, crazed to uh, remember what he did. So about 20 years later, I'm going out for my 20th class reunion. And it was one of your friends. And I went to Mar I went to Maurice's <clears throat> old friend's house because I couldn't find Maurice. And his name was Steve. And I said, hey, Steve, how's it going? He said, oh, fine. I said, can I get Maurice's address, phone number? So we sat in there talking. Lived in an apartment house. He said, yeah, I got off of drugs. And I went straight and I married this girl that owns these apartments. And he said, I'm trying to hit on her teenage daughter, but it's not working out. She don't like me. She's 16 and I'm 45. But he oh said it might God. happen eventually. He was always that way. So I said, hey, what happened? You used to have about 12 aquariums. Where'd they all go? He goes, oh, man. He said, I had a bad experience. He said, I was on an acid trip one night some years ago. And I caught a bus and I went to a fish store somewhere. I don't even remember where it was. And I had a test tube around my neck and I went in to steal a fish. And this old guy chased me down the street and beat the shit out of me kicked me and beat me <laughs> and I was uncaught I woke up and I somebody found me and they took me to the hospital in Santa Monica and I passed out and I had a concussion I was there for three days and I woke up and I said I decided that's it no more drugs no more stealing grandpa uh, straightened them out <laughs> oh my god oh, wow that was pretty bad man I said did you get any stitches oh yeah I had 12 stitches on my skull and I had to shave my head and everything I said, man, I said, did you ever find out who did it? And he says, nope, never even remember where the fish store was. I went, oh, man. So we got off the subject, and then I called that dad, grandpa. I know who it was. I remember that guy you thought you killed? <clears throat> He's alive. I found him. He's, what? I said, yeah, I told him the story, and he could not believe it. You didn't tell him I did it. I said, no, I didn't even mention it. He doesn't even know which fish store. <laughs> <laughs> True story. <laughs>